One of the most interesting facts about Africa is that the length and breadth of this continent are about the same size. It measures around 4,660 from the north to the south and from the east to the west. Welcome to Sense Not The Grand Podcast. Today we talk about Africa. Today we talk about some intriguing things you need to know about Africa. Thank you so much for listening to the first episode of Season 3. We are back once again like we always do. Let's share, let's like, let's comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that MC Haymaker is right on. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back with the chest. Okie dokie, who is ready to learn? Yes, once again, welcome back to Sense Not The Grand Podcast. This is Season 3, Episode 2. Yeah, Season 3, Episode 2 of Sense Not The Grand Podcast. And today, we are going to learn quite a lot of things about Africa. Maybe you know already, so this will be a refresher course for you. Maybe you don't know, this is an all new information for you. Believe you me, Africa is super blessed. Africa is so much blessed. Unfortunately, we will get there. Yes, that's that's the best I can say. We will get there. Okay, so Africa. Now let's get into it right here. Did you know that Africa is not only the second largest, but the second most populated continent as well? And house is about 12% of the world population. Did you know that? Now did you know that Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa and has an estimated population of about 120 to 140 million the population in Seychelles is around 80,000 people and is the least populated country when if you know west african history you know Seychelles holds quite some significant amount of information or history or significance when it comes to west african history especially ghana especially the ashanti kingdom Yes, we'll get into that one of these days, all right? <laughs> so let's get into it. Did you know that African continent has approximately, now listen to this, it has approximately about 3,000 distinct ethnic groups. Now, Nigeria alone has about 370 tribes and they have been officially recognized. Wow. Wow. Africa has a total of about 3,000 distinct ethnic groups, with Nigeria taking about 370 of them officially recognized. That is, that is some bit of information right there. Did you also know that around 2,000 different languages are spoken in Africa? Did you know that? Yes. And each of them have different dialect while arabic is the language that is most widely spoken in africa now let's get into a bit of geographics here yeah, okay <laughs> yes i'm sure the geography students and lecturers and you know what not are going to like this one the equator goes around or the equator goes around 2500 miles from the west to the east of the african continent this makes it uh, dividing the continent into two separate halves north and south it passes through many of the african nations such as congo somalia uganda as well as kenya let's go again did you know that if you go by records of the fossil remains africa seems to be the first continent where humans were found did you know that this is the part i like the most about african history the fact that it is believed because of fossil remains as in being found across the world it is believed that africa is where the first humans ever lived the fossil remains have suggested that humans had inhabited the african continent about seven million years ago but unfortunately for us africa is still behind something that shouldn't be happening but it is happening now although it is believed that this is where humans first inhabited now let's get into it africa also boasts of having the longest river in the world which is the now that runs for around 4150 miles before it meets the ocean it flows through 
several African countries such as Ethiopia, Sudan, Uganda, as well as Egypt that's making the land extremely fertile. Yes, very fertile there. Now, if you if you are a Christian or if you're a, a lover of Bible stories, if you're a lover of Christian history, you know we talk about it, but now it has some significance when it comes to Christian life. All right, I'm talking about the, the, the plagues of Egypt where the Nile was turned into blood. I'm talking about where uh, Moses was found. Moses who led the Christians or the Israelites from Egypt into the promised land but he didn't get there eventually he went off and somebody else I think Joshua took them to the promised land if I'm wrong please you do well to correct me that is how we do it here we learn every day so the river now is the longest river in Africa okay let's do one now the largest waterfall in Africa is the Victoria Falls it is located on the Zimbabwe Zambia border. It has a height of 355 feet and the width of the water runs almost a mile. The largest desert in the world is the Sahara Desert and it is situated in Africa and it spans across at least a dozen countries around 3.5 million square miles. That is the Sahara Desert. So it runs through countries like uh, Mali, and it runs through countries like Niger, Libya, Algeria, Egypt, Sudan, Chad, Mauritania, and the likes. Okay, then running through, uh, yes, it, it, it goes out of Africa, goes into the other part of the world. But in Africa, it takes quite a larger space in Africa. Also, the t- largest mountain in Africa is Mount Kilimanjaro and this is the the, the the largest and it stands tall at 19,340 feet. Also Lake Victoria is the largest lake in Africa measuring about 26,560 square miles. Wow! I'm loving this. I'm loving this. <laughs> Did you know that Madagascar is the largest island in Africa? and it lies just off the east coast of Africa. It has a length of around 1,000 miles with a width of around 350 miles. This island is also the fourth largest island in the world. So you see, everything about Africa happens to have some significance or it happens to have some some high ranking when it comes to the world. But we this, like I said, this is a story for another day. How we have everything but we end up having nothing. This is something I intend to talk about. And I don't intend to talk about it alone. I intend to have the full backup and we are going to talk about things like this. We are going to break down this dilemma. Now let's go on. Let's go on right here. Did you know that Africa boasts of the best flora and fauna in the world? It has the most flourishing wildlife in the entire world It also houses some of the fastest animals on the land or on land such as cheetah, wild beast, gazelle and lion. Wow. Africa is well known and the continent produces at least 50% of diamonds and gold. See, see, hold it right there. 50% of diamonds and gold in Africa and that is that i mean 50 percent of diamonds and gold produced in the world is is is, is from africa but but what, what happened how did we get here how did we get here that now we now have to go and beg for money from the west we see we should be living the lab we should be living the rich life right here all right let's get into it uh, like i said it's a story for another day now south africa is the home to the largest green canyon in the world and it is known as the Belt river canyon and this is also the third largest canyon in the world now that brings us to the end of intriguing fact or some popular fact about africa are you not entertained have you not learned this is sense no day grand podcast we do everything here it is entertaining it is educative it is you know uh, informative and everything you need it to be right so let me know what you think if you have more facts 
you can bring it on we are always happy to share what you have for us all right my name is mc haymaker until next time let's ponder on this and we are going to get into why we have everything but we end up having nothing until next time it is mc haymaker since no the grand podcast across all platforms it's i'm out